So before I open this video, I just want to say that I know that it's just stuff, but it's more than just the value of the parts. They had a lot of sentimental value to me. And more importantly, I hate the feeling of feeling like I've been violated. A lot of you guys saw the post that I made on Instagram. I was definitely emotional when I made the post because I just found out that I had been robbed for the second time at my new house. It sucks because I want more than anything to feel safe where I live. And I never made a video talking about the first time that I had stuff stolen from me. So I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of background on that. When I was on the way home from the drag strip with Mimi before her rod spent, and I came here to unload her off the trailer, um, I had some tools sitting in the back of the truck and someone walking by had taken them out and stolen them all. And I kind of deemed that as a little bit my fault because I wasn't watching the truck as I was unloading the car. I also kind of thought, you know, maybe someone needed those tools more than I did. So yeah, I, Chalked up at that, I tried not to let it get to me, but most recently, I mean, last night, um, you know, it'd been a long couple days of production, filming, filming for channels outside of YouTube, filming content for you guys at home. And I got home and I, I had a, I was borrowing Sean's truck in order to transport a lot of parts since the Prius is down and I can't really fit stuff in the C8. And I got back really late last night and I parked the truck in the driveway and I locked the truck. For those of you guys who don't know, the truck has a, a tonneau cover. I kept calling it a bed cover or whatever. It has a cover and it locks when it's pulled all the way. And then if you shut the tailgate, you lock the tailgate. In theory, it's a closed system. Um, but at some point last night between midnight and sunrise today, someone had somehow, I don't know if they used a coat hanger or something, but got into the cover, was able to open it, and they took all the stock parts I had for my C8 out of the back of the truck. And I do have security cameras. I did an integration with Simply Safe. They were so nice to come on board when I bought my first house for home security. And with Simply Safe, I have a camera on my front door so I can see anyone coming and going. But what the camera can't see is the driveway, so it wasn't able to see the truck. I mean, it was super helpful because, later I'll explain, when the cops came, I wasn't home and I was able to talk to the cops through the intercom system of the Simply Safe. So, no blame whatsoever on the security system. I probably will be getting better camera, well, not better cameras, I probably will be getting more cameras after this scenario, but I woke up this morning, walked outside, and the G body front bumper was in a bush, and all the parts for the C8 were stolen out the back of the truck. And listen, I get it, I, I know it's just stuff, but it's stuff that I worked so hard for in my life, and I hate the feeling of feeling I, I've been violated. And I'm not trying to get emotional, um, it just sucks. All I could really do was call the cops, and fortunately they showed up. When the cops came, I wasn't home, but I was able to talk to them through that Simply Safe um, doorbell. They were more than willing to wait for me to get back home. They stood by for like 10 minutes. I wasn't that far out, got home, talked to them. Super nice, they were super sweet. I ended up showing them the G-Body and back in the garage and all that stuff. We took the police report. Uh, we project it was about five to $10,000 that was stolen. I have to continue on with all that and you know they, they told me unfortunately it happens all the time it's it's very hard to pin suspects because even let's say they did find my parts they have to be able to prove i have to be able to prove that they were my parts like my name needs to be engraved in it like there needs to be something unique it can't just be oh a c8 airbox c8 struts and shocks oh just because they're missing the tops whatever um they even if they scratch off the VIN, scratching off the VIN apparently is enough for them not to be able to trace it back to me even if I had the VIN. So, I mean, I was joking with the cops, like, dang, I'm in the wrong business. I should just go rob a bunch of people because apparently they get away with it. And even if they get caught with it, they have to prove that it was someone else's belongings and it seems like a very flawed system to me. I've been in this house for two months now. It's the second time and this time it, it definitely felt like I was a target for something. So for those of you guys wondering what was stolen, they were my C8 struts and shocks with the front lift on them, my C8 axles, because I swapped those out. 
my air box as well as my exhaust manifolds and like a couple smaller things here or there i'm really distraught about the c8 stuff and i'm a little offended they didn't take the g body from bumper <laughs> i'm trying to look on the bright side probably call insurance and see if there's any way they can help but hey on the bright side maybe i'll make enough from ad rev to where uh i don't even have to worry about it it just sucks i made a post hoping that the car community would share to try to help me find someone selling C8 stock parts online, which there's not many stock, stock parts. It shouldn't be that difficult to try to track down unless they took it to a scrapyard, which they likely did. And I, I do have to say thank you to everyone who posted, reposted that I lost all my, my stock parts. I can't tell you guys how much that meant to me. And I talk so much about how I love the automotive community and how I wouldn't be where I am today without you guys. So sincerely, thank you for reposting that. You know, I'm not gonna leave it here. I'm not gonna let these people get away with it. I got some stuff on my sleeve that I'm gonna try that I'll share with you guys in, in a few weeks. But at the same time, you know, one can hope that karma also exists. It sucks not to feel safe in your home I feel like I can't put park anything outside at this point. If I were to force myself to look at a silver lining, I got more room to store more car parts. <laughs> and who knows, maybe we find the parts. Maybe everyone reposting stuff helps. As sweet as the police were, I'm not feeling very optimistic that it's something that's going to be found. It's only a lesson that I can learn from moving forward. But yeah, talk about a punch to the gut. Maybe this is a sign that I should never put my C8 back to stock, that I shouldn't sell it, that I'll keep this and I'll get the Z06. Yeah, I, mean, I just wanted to fill you guys in, let you know exactly what happened. And uh, if you see anything in the LA area on Craigslist, offer up, whatever people use to sell car parts, Facebook Marketplace, I guess let me know. I can't imagine there's a lot of stock C8 parts out there right now. Um, an update on Mimi, my 79 Buick Regal, my G-Body. So we bent the rods and uh, the plan of attack, what we've finally decided to do next. I decided against the 427 because I don't necessarily think I need more power as much as I want to focus off getting off the line correctly. But we do need to repair her and I don't want to put her back to stock. So um, I'm excited to say we're going to be doing a 408 stroker with the help of Texas Speed. And yeah, so that, that'll be, I'm just waiting on the rotating assembly and that'll be in soon. The Prius, we did a first start, this video is now going in front of it. So you guys will see the first start on the next episode, which is huge and super exciting. And Tomato, my built EJ207 2.5 RS, last time you heard, she did pass bar certification, finally. And you guys will probably see more content with her in the next week or two, likely after I get back from Cletus McFarland's 2.4 hours of little bullets and or depending when the clutches come in, she's gonna take priority and then we'll hop over to Tomato. When we get clutches for her though, we will be heading to Texas to try to break the quarter mile record. And lastly, Envy, I'm just gonna keep drifting her. We got some bash bars for her that I'm excited to install next to Street Faction. And I'm looking at buying another car. Comment below, let me know what you think. I'm working on something that I swear is gonna blow all of you away. You're not going to be expecting it. For the With Love collection, I do wanna say thank you again, sincerely for everyone who purchased anything for the collection. I am talking with a super rad nonprofit to donate some of the money to. And once we finalize a couple things, I mean, to be, to be open with you guys, it's not really much finalized. I just want to continue the relationship with them. And more importantly, I want to make sure that I know that the money is going to something good that's going to help and not just paying someone's salary. So um, I am talking with a nonprofit right now that I'm super excited uh, for, and I will share with you guys the second that we get to the point of that. The last drop of the year will probably be something a little special on Black Friday. Um, and then probably nothing until the new year. So I... Thank you. This last collection that we dropped really just made me feel like I had such a family in the car community. So thank you guys. I guess that's that. I'll keep you guys updated with the C8. I still don't have a name for her. I'm leaning towards Tommy <laughs> for like the White Ranger. I don't know. I did see someone comment no name, but no name was also, oh, that was no face from Spirited Away. Spirited Away is like my favorite movie ever. That's what it kind of reminded me of. So maybe we just roll with the name no name. Comment below, no name or Tommy. And uh, 
Wh whatever ends up happening, I'll let you know regardless. And mark my words, this is not the end of it. Thank you guys for watching. It's kind of a different video, but after yesterday, or today really, I was so emotionally overwhelmed that I really just want to come out to explain to you guys what happened and to say thank you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. We out here with love. Bye. <laughs>